This is Pastor Troy, and welcome to Demonstrated. In today's episode, we're going to show you a clip from last night's service. Amazing guy had this testimony of how God has been using him in amazing ways. And check it out. I just want to share that ever since uh, the pastor laid hands on me and I received the gift of speaking in tongues, I've been able to do things that I wasn't able to do before. I've been able to pray for people and, and watch amazing things. God is really moving in my life. And praise God, I work at the UCLA, uh, and I'm always seeing sick people. So now on my lunch break, instead of posting godly things on Facebook like I used to always do, now I'm, I feel more, I want to go outside and watch the sick people pass by. And when I see one, that, that I feel like I can go speak to them. I just go out, and I say, hey, can I pray for you? And, and I'll watch the Lord heal them, and it's just awesome. I love it. So life is really changing, and I'm not the same person anymore. Things are happening in my life, and every time I pray on people, I notice that the Lord makes me feel really good inside, and I just love it. And I wouldn't change this for anything. Amen. And uh, I can't wait to uh, heal more people. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming. Yeah. And that's what I want to share. Uh, um, every day I'm, I'm praying for people at my job, and, and at least five people getting healed, or three people, and, and I just love it. I just love it. And I love to see their mouths and their eyes just they're like they smile and their eyes just pop open and then I'll just share, hey it's Jesus, He loves you, He's real. Get close to Him and you can do this too. It's just great. I love it. Did you enjoy that? God is so amazing. So check out this um, clip from yesterday's service. We had an amazing service and for the full length um, message you can go to my website demonstrated.org and get the full length message. God bless you. See you next week. He that believes in me, the works I do, he will also do. In fact, greater works will he do because I go to be with the Father. Now, if that scripture is true, if Jesus told the truth in John 14 and 12, then every single person that believes in Jesus should be doing the same exact works as Jesus. So when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the hospital, when you go anywhere, you should have the same results. When people see you, it should be something different. When people walk by your path, they should be able to touch the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit that's on you. And see, very few people have walked with that level of confidence, fully understanding that I'm not just a, 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 a random person. I'm not just somebody that goes to church. This isn't just a put on. This is real. I was reading last week how this was in Yahoo News, this Bible scholar, he was saying that he uncovered that the Romans actually invented Jesus. He was an invention to control the people. He's a Bible scholar, so he never really existed. And see, you can make up stupid stuff like that when there's no results. But if you show up, and you do the same things that Jesus did, people's lives are getting healed, people were addicted to whatever they're addicted to, and now they're free. When you start doing those things, oh no, it has to be real. He did exist. He's real because he lives through me. But as long as there's no results, as long as it's just a philosophy, a thing we come to church, you know, to hear a motivational message, and that was his point. You know, Jesus had some good points. He had some good motivational teachings, and that's why people loved him, but he didn't really exist. All that can stand as long as there's no result. I was reading on um, this guy in Africa named uh, T.B. Joshua. He gave this testimony about, um, it was a guy, he was like on the last stage of AIDS, HIV. And he came there, you know, can he be healed? The doctors, they wrote him off. You're done. It's over. So he came there to get prayer. and He got 100% healed. And this was 10 years ago. So now he got remarried. He has kids, has a family, everything. See, those type of testimonies can only come when you're with the living, true God. Those type of things cannot be just rationalized like, oh, yeah, um, well, I believe in positive thinking and I remember when I first came out here and um, 
I was living in Hollywood at the time, and I was on my way home. It was getting late. And I remember seeing a guy. He was on crutches. This is on Hollywood Boulevard on crutches. I remember I was so excited. I'm like, I'm new to L.A. And I remember I drove, and I like did like a U-turn. I pulled up, hopped out of the car, and I was like, um, I was like, hey, hey, I see you have something going on with, with you know, you're on crutches. Can I, can I pray for you? He was like, he looked at me like I was crazy. Of course, you know, people were like, I was like, yeah, nothing else to lose. You're not going to get any worse. So I prayed for him. Nothing, you know, special. Just laid my hand on his foot. I was like, in Jesus' name, be healed now. And then I asked him, I said, so how does it feel? You know, let's say, you know, if you were at a 10 before, are you at a five, are you at a zero, meaning no, like, where are you at now? He's like, it, it really does feel better. I feel like I'm at a, like at a seven or something. It, feel, it feels a lot better. And then he started retracting. He was like, yeah, but I believe in, in positive mental, af-. you know, he started, I said, no, 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 no. This is the Holy Spirit. You won't receive. So I, I prayed for him again. I remember the second time I prayed for him, I remember feeling like the bone, like, I don't know exactly what happened. All I know is I felt something shift in his foot. And he got up. He had like the biggest look of surprise. And he was 100% healed. He got off his crutches, started walking away. You see, when things like that happen, when things that baffle the mind, when things that are beyond just, oh, I believe that. I mean, I believe in when you, you know, you speak things and I believe... All that is eliminated, and people want to know, okay, tell me more about this Jesus. And that's what happened in the first century church. That's what happened when Paul and the the apostles came to a foreign land that had never heard any of this stuff before. They had their little gods and their things in the Oracle of Delph. They they were familiar with the supernatural. They've they've seen stuff. So if you're going to come to a foreign land, You better prove the gospel is superior to everything that they're struggling with. That's what the kingdom of God is. It's the supremacy of God's rule over everything that they're struggling with. When you declare the kingdom of God, you're declaring that God's rule and reign is above sickness. It's above poverty. It's above debt and depression and everything else. That's the human condition. So you go to a foreign land, you say God's way is better. Now, let me demonstrate it. I'm not here to debate it. I'm not here to argue it. Who has something? Come up, boom, and you demonstrate it. That's what the apostles did. That's what Jesus did. And that's what we we can do today. It's really just that simple. But that's not what we do today. People want to argue and go back and forth. People asking me, so uh, Pastor Troy, what do you think about this Preachers of L.A. show? What do you think about? And asking me all these stupid questions that have nothing to do with people that are dying every single day. The hospitals are packed every single day. People are getting put out of their houses and they're depressed and all these things. And we want to talk about stupid conversations. But if we would just demonstrate it, if we would just say acknowledge what's in us and take it out into the streets, this whole world will be changed in a matter of a couple days. 